Good morning, guys. Welcome to the Shades Zen in a brand new video today. Yes, we're going to talk about Chelsea versus Fulham, the London derby, in between two top Real Madrid matches. We're going to just concentrate today on the Premier League match this weekend for Chelsea. So watch till the end. Here we go. So yes, guys, this is a big match uh, because we need to get points in the Premier League as well. But if you look at it, in between two Champions League semi-final matches against a mighty Real Madrid, we have to play this match. So, I mean, if you're a little out of focus, it can be, it can be understood. And just after this uh, two matches against Real Madrid in the Champions League, we get to play for, um, Manchester City next weekend in the Premier League. So this is this is this is that time of the season when things are really busy, and as a club, you have to really put your best foot forward play your best informed players and that is what we're going to talk about obviously many of you might already have understood I'm talking about Warner and you're know, going to talk about Warner right now and think if he is suitable to play big matches as we already know we have drew with Real Madrid 1-1 in the first leg in Madrid and which should have been won by somehow at least for the first 30 minutes we got some wonderful chances but right now shifting focus to the Premier League weekend fixture for Chelsea uh, against Fulham and this is going to be tough. It's a London derby. Fulham is almost dusted uh, back to the championship but they'll still try to you know get something out because this is not just about uh, Champions League. It's about um, it's not about um, for them. It's not about survival. It's also about a little bit of you know that those bragging rights you know playing in the London derby and if they can get something out of Chelsea Though we won against Crystal Palace recent times, just prior to a Champions League match, our performance has not been that good. We already know we have dropped points against Southampton Leeds. We lost to West Bromwich Albion. So, this is going to be a tough tie. We cannot take it for granted. Uh, the thing about uh, Tuchel, I'm going to come really to Tuchel first before Werner, is Tuchel, when he came to Chelsea, he was known as the tinkering Tuchel. So I have been a little surprised that he has been not been as much tinkering as possible. There are players like Alonso, Giroud, you know, uh, Zuma. So Zuma plays on and off and uh, who are available. And in this kind of fixture, you have to maybe take a chance. And Tammy Abraham, for in that matter, and give them a chance. And uh, if you keep on playing some players regularly, you might see that they might not come up and give their best performance. Uh, for example, Chile. Uh, ben Chilwell has been playing almost every match for Chelsea. Why not give Alonso or Emerson a chance to play instead? Give him a rest because we have Real Madrid coming up midweek next week. And then Man City as well so, um, after that. So why not give them a chance? Why not give Giroud? Giroud was so important for us last season this time around. He was scoring goals every match. And I still believe he will score goals if he gets an opportunity. I know that uh, he is on his way out. So maybe Tuchel is already thinking of next season. But why not give him a chance and sit Werner out for the time being, for this match, or maybe in the first half against Real Madrid. So these are some questions Tuchel needs to think about. I'm pretty sure he is not going to... Uh, be able to hear me or watch my video. I wish he did. But um, so he should think about these things, you know, bring on a couple of these players and, you know, mix it up a little bit. So uh, Warner for me, I think there's a lot of criticism. Now, I'm a big Warner fan. I'm a big fan of his. The problem what I feel with Warner is that uh, he did score goals, but he is losing his confidence. And that is could be very costly for Chelsea and against a mighty side like Real Madrid. They have now the difference between Real Madrid and Chelsea could end up being the uh, experience that they have. If you look at except Jorginho, Aspilicueta, um, you know Kante, you really our team is a very young team. Zayech, Giroud, Giroud doesn't play, so I don't want to talk about him uh, if he doesn't play. Uh, the rest of the team is a very young squad, a very young 20, 22, 23-year-old young squad team who have very less experience. Not that they need a lot of experience these days, but if they are playing against multiple Champions League winners, the likes of Modric and Cruz and Sergio Ramos, not sure if Ramos will be fit for the second leg, or Courtois, or um, you know even Eden Hazard, who has a lot of experience. So, 
you really need to take your chances. Timo Werner, uh, for me, I feel that he has lost his confidence and I need Tuchel to maybe play him against Fulham and maybe not start him against Real Madrid. That will be an important match and we cannot let go of that and we cannot think of, you know, dropping, you know, we, it's a match which which we can win, Real Madrid that is, and we'll come straight back to, you know, you know, it's so important juncture, you really can't stop talking about the Real Madrid match that you still do need to talk about Fulham. So for Fulham, I think quickly I'll go with the team news. Uh, I feel that uh, Mendy at goal, though I would like to see Kepa playing, uh, but yeah, Mendy at goal. And a little bit of rest for some of the players who are playing Real Madrid. Uh, so, you sh ideally, you should start with uh, Dave has been ever present. So, Dave will be there. Bazuma and Christensen starting off. Uh, we'd like to see Alonso starting one side and Hudson Odoi starting on the other side. And then uh, Kante and Jorginho because Kovacic is not fully fit. There's a great news for that that Kovacic is fit but he might not start. So it could mean that he might not start for either of these matches. Now, Kante has been so good and Jorginho is also playing good enough. So there's not much chance that uh, Kovacic is going to come straight into the team. So he most likely will start as a sub. And I guess against Real Madrid also most likely will start as a sub. And then maybe against Man City, you might see. But Kante has been so good. So not much chances of moving there on a mountain one place. Now, for me, I think Giroud should start uh, along with uh, someone like uh, Zayic. And I'm not sure how that's going to pan out. But these guys need to play, giving the likes of Pulisic, uh, Evan Werner, uh, maybe uh, some rest. Maybe even Tammy Abraham can start as well. You know, And if Werner starts this match, then maybe in the next match, give it a try with Giroud. Obviously, Tuchel knows better. Obviously, he does. He's the manager. But I still believe that there is a room for some of these changes because they need it. Giroud will be an effective player. He will like to prove himself. And uh, he will still go ahead and make, make it happen if he gets a choice. Not sure why Tuchel is not really using him. He has a bigger squad and he still needs a little bit of these players. Giving some of the regular players a little bit of rest. I guess that's how it should be. Now, getting three points is absolutely important against Fulham. Because uh, if we win these points, we are still in pace to drop four. Because whether we make it to the finals of the Champions League or not, or whether we win it or not, that's a different question on a different date. We need to make sure that we get into the top four at least. A very good chance of doing that. But we cannot drop points against the likes of Fulham. We have some tough matches after that. Man City, Arsenal, and a few others. Leicester as well. So I'll leave it at that. Hoping for a Chelsea winning us. Fulham, you guys let me know in the comments section what you guys think. Uh, do you guys think really that Chelsea has a chance beating Fulham? It's a London derby or Fulham will sprang a surprise. Scotty Parker and his team. It will be quite interesting to see. Keep it coming, guys. Signing off for right now. Bye-bye, guys.